Let's make our shoes kiss. Kiss. Every once in a while, Rihanna will do something that's a little bit like, oh, yikes, but like it still looks great on her. This is definitely one of those things. Today, we are trying Rihanna's plastic shoe wrap. So these shoes that Rihanna wore were a collaboration with Jimmy Choo, so that obviously means that we cannot get a hold of them, and they are very expensive. So we're gonna make them all ourselves. It makes me think of when relatives will put plastic over the couch so that you won't get dirt on it. I mean, I don't know. I like little circus tents on my feet. I'm a traveling show. Here's to looking like Rihanna. Hope I do you proud, bad gal Rebe. Good morrow. Kristen and I both have to do this Rihanna shoe wrap, so we decided to do it together like Franz. Like Prim. The actual process of making them wasn't that difficult. I'm now getting out of my nice little rain boots and gonna have to suffer. I tried the shower caps on first and then it fit perfectly. I was like, oh, this is great. It is Rihanna Plastic Shoe Day. I don't even really know where to start, but I have tape, the plastic bags, scissors. You can see the part where you seal the Ziploc bag as a part of my actual look. So I just, you know, I leaned into that and that was the unique look that I was going for. Making the shoes was really easy. Kristen was using plastic bags. I was basically using shower caps. Kristen's <laughs> gonna be way more high tech than mine. Ready? Bust the heel through the plastic. I'm gonna tuck the sides of the plastic into the shoe. This back section. I don't know what to do with it. I think I'm just gonna leave it as so because it's gonna be Fred's twist on the Rihanna plastic heel, which means it's not exact. I imagine that if I had a little bit more time and maybe like three hours at the craft store, I probably could have come up with something much better, but I didn't. I'm a resourceful lady, I make stuff work. They kind of look like you're visiting a model home today. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm a fancy bitch. But this is someone else's carpet. <laughs> I think we did it. Now time to strap my stuff around the office. See what people think. A lot of people were confused by the look. I had confused looks from afar of people just being like, What's going on? What is this? What, what could this possibly be? So Rihanna stepped out and she had like plastic covering on her feet. But when Rihanna does it, it looks cool. I don't know. I've been wearing these for 20 minutes and I've had many coworkers I just saw staring at my feet and saying, hmm. Are these like to rainproof your stilettos? I think it's fashion. So much noise. Why so much noise? I just felt more more silly than anything. So part of me wants to just like rip them off and then strut around in these heels just to be like, I can do this also. I don't only wear heels when there's shower caps on them. I have noticed a few weird looks from people because I'm wearing these. Um, certainly people are a little bit confused. I don't think people realize that it's just because I am very fashionable. Why are you holding a bag? Um, this is my purse. Okay, when Rihanna wore this, she had a clear bag too. Yeah, but that's a Ziploc bag. I also used the Ziploc bag as a purse as well. So I kind of had like a pair up happening. I had like Ziploc bag shoes, Ziploc bag purse. It's a look. It's a look. Okay, I didn't like the bag look, so I tucked the bags into the sides of my ankles. So shit's about to get sweaty. Oh crap, I have to go to lunch looking like this. I have to go to lunch with you dressed like this. <laughs> We're going to lunch. I straight up hate heels, and I don't like walking in them, and I think they're very uncomfortable, and they hurt my feet. Do the Rihanna walk. <laughs> like, yes. 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 I don't think the shoes made me feel like Rihanna at all. I think I was just trying to channel her as much as possible so that I could feel comfortable in the shoes. <laughs> this might be the first video I've done where people aren't like, oh, you're doing it for a video and legitimately are. What happened to you? Is something wrong? Which should tell you something. I changed back into my regular shoes for the walk back from lunch because I was in so much pain that I couldn't do it. So I did change out of them and then put them back on when I got back from lunch. After a good amount of walking around, my feet started to sweat inside of the bag so you could see the condensation sort of creep up. First thing I noticed is the, the little bit of condensation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a warm day already, it's a lake. But, there uh, is condensation! Damn. Put a player on blast. The condensation is real. I didn't even realize that until Mata's pointed it out. Having foggy heels is rough. I mean, because it puts all your business out there. It's like, hey, I have sweaty feet. No one else needs to know that. Wearing plastic bags on your feet, 
Not fun. Very hot. It was like wearing socks that don't breathe at all. People have been asking me all day if I'm going to return these shoes oh. afterwards. How do you feel in them? Sweaty. Actually, my left foot is so much cooler now that I've taken the bag off. I was trying to pick it up to help you out, and then it was like all wet, and I was like, should I be touching this? Is this sweat? When I finished <laughs> making these heels, I felt very accomplished. I felt like I had succeeded, but just in the fact that I was able to put something together, quickly to realize I did not really succeed. I don't think that the plastic really worked so much as far as fashion, but it did do a great job of keeping the shoe relatively clean. I think I would feel more like Rihanna just by wearing nice heels. It just felt so goofy walking around with these shower caps on my feet. They belong on your hair in the shower. So I felt accomplished in the fact that I even did it, but in terms of the aesthetic and getting them to look as close as Rihanna's, debatable. We are very lucky to have Rihanna. Every generation gets the superstars that they deserve. And I think our generation must deserve a lot because we have Rihanna. One on, one off, so confusing. Can't tell what time it is. What year is it? 